Hi guys and ladies. Well, I'm reading this recipe here. You see, uh, I had it emailed to me uh, automatically by chow.com and in this one looked interesting. It's called adobo marinated barbecue chicken and it, it happens to look low carb to me. So, you know, I'm all over this one. Well, I've never made it before, obviously. So this could be interesting. Okay, here's what we're going to do. The recipe calls for four chili peppers ancho and four chili peppers guajillo. Those things are hard to find, especially the guajillos. You know, you just, in Ohio, you just can't go to the supermarket and demand uh, your dried chili peppers. Uh, guajillo, please. Um, so, and, and you have to chop them and seed them and soak them in, in uh, liquid and all that. Anyway, I had this powder in the cupboard and look what I happen to find. Guajillo and ancho. Now, these are so old, I think it was before they invented barcodes. Anyway, I'm going to substitute one tablespoon per one chili because that's what I saw on the internet. Let's see how it comes out. One half cup of warm water. This is the ancho chili powder. Now four tablespoons of guajillo. The recipe says I'm to use uh, two teaspoons of finely chopped and peeled ginger from a stick about three inches long. Well, you, you know, we're not making curry here. Uh, we're making a marinade. So I had this in the refrigerator. I've been anxious to, to use it. Uh, you know, we're cheating a lot. We should call this cheater's chicken because I cheated with the uh, peppers too. But anyway, I'm going to throw in two teaspoons of this uh, ginger paste. Let's see how that works. That's one. That's two. Now I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Wonder what would happen if it weren't kosher. Here I'm putting in three quarter teaspoon of uh, ground cumin. Here I'm putting in a quarter teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper. Here's where I blend everything. We're supposed to transfer uh, one third cup of this uh, chili puree into a small bowl for later. I got two and a half uh, pounds here of uh, drumsticks, uh, chicken legs, and I'm going to add it to the bowl and then I'm I might as well start it. And then I'm going to paint it with the um, marinade. Wow, this is the messiest stuff I, I've seen since I made mud pies. I don't know how else to get the mixture onto the chicken. Just play music now. I'm wondering if that great chef Wolf Pit Larry goes through all this because it's really a mess, Larry. Jeez. Well, here it is. It was a little messy, but um, hopefully the taste will be worth all the trouble. Um, I'm going to let it marinate in the refrigerator for 24 hours. The direction said you could do that or you could put it right on the grill. But let's see how the flavors develop by tomorrow. See you then. Well, it's tomorrow. I'm going to make a real quick uh, guacamole. I'm going to chop this tomato first. Well, 
Well, the, the cheating goes on even today. You see, I bought these uh, chopped up already, these uh, onions from the supermarket, and I'm going to add about mm, three or four tablespoons into my guacamole. I'm adding a half teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add uh, this whole can of uh, chopped green chili peppers. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I've drained these. I'm going to bulk this up with sour cream. Only low carb people are allowed to do this. Let's add a two heaping <coughs> tablespoons. Well, maybe a little more. Almost three tablespoons. I'm going to further bulk it up by adding a good handful of uh, shredded cheese. Don't forget to add a little pepper. Taste test. Mmm. Good. Good. I, I just read the directions again. It said to take the chicken out of the refrigerator and uh, let it get down to, uh, or up, to room temperature. So... It's going to be at least 15 minutes out of the refrigerator before you put it on the grill. Remember, this is called cheater's chicken. Uh, we only follow the directions when it's convenient. At any rate, uh, the directions call for charcoal or gas grill. I don't have either, but I have an electric one. And I'm going to plug this little baby in. And uh, what we have to do, according to the directions, is bring it up to uh, about 400 degrees. It's at 350 to 450. Let's see if we could do that. Shouldn't be too hard, it's electric. Mm. Well, we have to oil the grill now. Oh boy. Okay, as you can see, I got the chicken uh, legs onto the grill. Now, after putting the chicken on, it says to turn them over in five minutes and season with salt. So I'll do that now. Okay, here we go. Now it's been five minutes on the second side. Directions say flip them again. And we're going to keep flipping according to the directions every five minutes. This time we're going to uh, add our, our chili puree. Remember that? Here's some left in the bowl. Let's add this, oh my goodness, oh. A famous restaurant review lady is coming soon. And uh, she, she's a food critic and restaurant reviewer. Her name is uh, Miss Cheeks, Lulu Cheeks. I think is her first name. We're getting into that uh, reserved uh, chili puree and that's how they're coming along. The total time? 25 to 30 minutes it should be 160 to 165 according to those directions each five minutes I flip and uh, every time I flip I rebased with the uh, with the puree the famous food critic uh, Lulu cheeks has just informed me that no matter the result of this uh, chicken, she will still like me. I'm going to plate these up. Some temperatures read more than 165, others read less. I think it's been almost 40 minutes. It's been about 40 minutes. I think it's done. Well, there you have it, low-carb tortillas, uh, that uh, chicken adobo barbecue, and we have the guacamole. I have no idea if the chicken is done. How is it? Very tasty. Really? Mm -hmm. The chicken is uh, not yeah, overcooked? Done just right. Not, oh, great. Whew. Today we're sitting here with uh, that famous uh, food critic, <laughs> restaurant critic. Uh, uh, she's another... Uh, Cheeks, I think her name is, and that would be Miss Lulu Cheeks. Is that correct? Yes. Miss uh, Cheeks, uh, may I ask you, um, you know, tonight we uh, dined on um, adobo 
uh, barbecue chicken. Uh, could you tell us uh, what your opinion is now? Please be honest. It was barbecued and cooked just to perfection. And it was, uh, I definitely recommend it. Thank you. Uh, what, what about the guacamole? And the guacamole, of course, was delicious as usual. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, when, when you were a, a tiny child, uh, a small child, it, did you ever make mud pies? Mm, I don't, I suppose every child does. Do you like uh, Dixie Land music? The kind that's playing in the background? Yes, very much. It reminds me of New Orleans. Yeah, I do too. Thanks. Miss Lulu Cheeks, the famous restaurant and food critic. Thank you.